Do you feel ashamed? Do you feel violated? And you feel embarrassed and you feel afraid. It has been a long, trying seven years for Kingsley and his 76-year-old mother, Ellen, who requested we only use their nicknames. Seven years of trying to find justice after mom was allegedly defrauded out of a house by an Alamo man named Derek Chu, indicted by the U.S. Department of Justice this week. Ellen was close with Derek's father, Felix. He's a family friend for close to 30 years. He just seemed like a very honest man. My mom trusted him so much that he had Felix deliver a eulogy at my dad's funeral. Kingsley said Felix was well connected in the Chinatown community and his mom would give him and his son small amounts of money with the promise of a significant return. Starts off as several thousand and then it goes up to a hundred thousand. As the returns came in, Ellen's trust grew. And then those investments started becoming higher and higher because he kept on asking for more. Eventually, Ellen signed over her San Francisco home. She realized that it was just all a lie, and she felt truly, truly ashamed of it. It broke my heart because it looked like she, her soul wasn't even there at the time. The DOJ alleges Derek Chu's Ponzi scheme began in 2013. He allegedly solicited investments with the promise of returns from the resale of Warriors tickets and luxury suites at Oracle and the Chase Center. $500,000 check. Janery Mack and John Chow have filed multiple lawsuits from more than a dozen people who believe the Chu father and son duo worked as a team. This one's 100000 you get 18% interest. Right, so you get $1,500 a month. They say much of the fraud started by targeting a certain demographic. We believe the first round are um, Chinese monolingual um, seniors. Because many of these victims are seniors, they um, went through really um, emotional um, abuse from this. Some of them were suicidal. While Mac and Chow are not certain if victims will ever be made whole, since in charging documents, Derek Chu is accused of misappropriating $7.3 million on luxury cars, jewelry, and credit card debts. They do believe the DOJ indictment is a start. Now that there's steam, we want to continue this. Kingsley hopes his mother's story will inspire others to come forward. If you don't report it, whatever happened to Derek Chu a couple of days ago will not happen. Stop being afraid and it's it's these guys turns to be afraid if there are other victims out there we encourage them to you know speak up i've reached out to the doj to inquire if charges would be coming for father felix as well derek chu faces a sentence of decades behind bars and a maximum fine in the millions his next court appearance is may 9th